I had Austin Matthews Enthusiast in my Twitter bio for so long, but I thought it didn't look very professional, so I took it out. But, you know, more and more lately, I'm tempted to put it back in because I feel like that is part of my role on Twitter. Thoughts? Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm starting a new series of player profiles because I was trying to think about things that I haven't seen much on Hockey YouTube and I haven't really seen anyone just go through individual players on the team, do building up a profile for them, talking about their stats, basic info, whatever. Maybe people who are new to hockey or new to the Leafs might want a basic rundown of people and I thought I would just do a series of little short videos doing exactly that. However, as soon as I went to edit, I realised I had recorded the entire video with a ton of lipstick on my front teeth, to which I then tweeted talking about it and people were like, fuck it, post it anyway. So um, I decided to refilm the intro, but you can have my lipstick teeth for the rest of the video because this is the reality of um, trying to make content for the internet, is you will screw up. So uh, I'm I'm not going to refilm the whole thing. We're just gonna we're gonna go with it. Um, please ignore it. I'll be overlapping plenty of pictures of Austin Matthews, so hopefully you won't notice too much. But uh, yeah, please excuse that ridiculous error. I was in a rush. I was trying to get to work. I'd make excuses. In reality, it was just it was just a moment of mistake, pretty much. So please excuse that. And I hope you enjoy the video anyway. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you think of Austin Matthews because some people aren't a huge fan, some people are, like me. Let me know and also let me know what players you'd like me to cover next because I can definitely do that too. So yeah, I'm going to cut over now to me with brown lipstick all over my front teeth. Enjoy. <laughs> so for the first one, who else was I going to pick but Austin Matthews? Everyone knows I am absolutely obsessed with Austin Matthews. He is my favourite hockey player of all time. And if 17 year old me could see me now sitting here making this, she would be so proud. I just know she would. He has been my favourite player from the start. He was my first favourite Leafs player. Like, he's, he's my favourite player ever, basically. I have more Matthews stuff than you can imagine. I have t-shirts, I have hoodies. I have a necklace on right now, which has 34 written on it. Hockey sticks and then Matthews written on the bottom. So at age 24, the 6 foot 3 centre has made a huge impact on hockey. He's arguably one of the best players of this generation and he's only 24. Imagine what this man is going to be doing by the time, he's probably not even his peak yet. He's probably not even peaked. Imagine what he could still be doing a few years from now. That's impressive. So he was born 17 September 1997 in San Ramon, California, but he moved to Arizona when he was a baby. And he went on to play hockey. He um, obviously Arizona is not really a trailblazer for hockey, and we won't go into the whole Arizona current issues. But you know, previously, even less so, was hockey like a huge thing there? Like it's not obviously the same as being in parts of Canada or in the different parts of the states. So I feel like Austin really kind of led a path there that maybe wasn't expected of him, which is pretty cool, I like that. And before he was drafted into the NHL in 2016, he was playing in Switzerland, um, which high European hockey, shout out. When he was drafted in 2016, his first game, we all know it, we all know it, the four goal game, your first NHL game and you're scoring four goals. How are people not admiring you? I don't understand, that is iconic. Absolutely legendary. Four goals in first NHL game. Very impressive. So obviously now he wears the A, plays number 34, and he's kind of leading the way for a new generation of the Toronto Maple Leafs franchise, which is pretty cool. And he also times in perfectly with when I started watching hockey, which is maybe why I'm so fond of him so much, is because the exact time he got drafted is the exact time I started watching hockey. So good timing there. He is the second highest paid player in the NHL, which I know people find kind of sickening, but at the end of the day, in my opinion anyway, I think he's worth it. I, I think he's worth it. For what he does for the team, he is absolutely worth it. And he's the kind of guy that we're going to need to win a cup. You're not going to win with players that are stagnant and inconsistent, and I would say Austin Matthews is neither of those things. 
He's also arguably the most fashionable guy in the NHL, so popping up some Austin Matthews fashion shots here. Not everyone's cup of tea, but at least he's got... I, I love guys in the NHL with a good personality, and I definitely feel like Austin has that charisma and a good character about him that a lot of other players are perhaps missing. And I know that that's not directly important to hockey, but as a fan who wants to be entertained by the sport that they spend a lot of time, money and effort into, I want to be entertained by some of the players. Most as he's coming down, he's going across looking, oh man, he just buried himself in the... And I feel like Austin Matthews is definitely that. I love seeing the different things he comes out wearing, <laughs> the earrings, just everything. I, I adore everything about this man's character and uh, there's many moments that are my favourite pop up here. <laughs> Infamous picture. This is my lock screen for a long time. Pop that one up. Also pop up, like I'm filming this on the 18th? I'm filming this on the 18th of February. So last night we played the Penguins and I was up till 4am which is fun. Um, last night we played the Penguins and you just like Face? Like, lost some teeth. Lost some teeth, which is a first. That's an Austin Matthews first, losing the teeth. Um, I had so many tweets coming in, like, Austin Matthews, is like, he's like, lost, like, teeth. Like, what are you, like, you going to do? Like, nothing. I still love him. <laughs> I couldn't care less whether he's got no teeth or all of them. So in terms of this season's stats, he's got 33 goals, 26 assists, 59 points, and his plus minus is currently sitting at plus nine. So he is, you know, he's up there, not even just in the franchise, but in the league in general. You know, he's incredible. He's a good all-round player. He's got better defensively lately. He's always been good at shooting and scoring. He's been like that since before he came to the NHL. But defensively, he's getting much better. And he's turning into a really well-rounded player, in my opinion. And I think he really, really shapes a lot of the future of the Toronto Maple Leafs. And I know he's constantly compared to other players like McDavid. And I know that you can pull up stats. But I'm not here to talk about the Oilers. I don't want to talk about the Edmonton Oilers. That's not what I'm here for. I'm here to talk about the Leafs and my love of the Leafs and Austin Matthews. No one's ever going to convince me otherwise that there is a better player than him in the NHL right now. And you can come for me all you want with all your stats and whatever else. Doesn't mean I have to change my mind. I'm not here to be unbiased. I'm a Leafs fan. This is a Leafs channel. <laughs> I ain't here to be unbiased. I can do unbiased chats, but this is not one of them. So in my opinion, Austin Matthews is the best. I, I, he came into the Leafs in a time where they really needed to start getting better. He's been a huge part of that. People can slag us for getting put in, out in the first round all you want, but at the end of the day, at least during the season, we are a machine. It's been the same for the last couple seasons. It's the same this season. And I'm really excited to see where it could go. And by the way, Austin's not leaving for Arizona. Arizona, have you seen the rink? <laughs> seen their rink. That alone surely is enough to put people off. We have better rinks here in the UK. It's insane. He's not going to Arizona. He's not going anywhere. That man loves Toronto. That man absolutely loves it. The, the fame, the glory, the reputation, the status. And like, why shouldn't he? He's like earned it. He's earned it well. He should be able to have that fame all he wants. It is well deserved in my opinion. So there we go. There's my little rant about Austin Matthews over. A little basic fact file. I could definitely do more in-depth chats, but I just I want to just make a little series of player profile videos just because not everyone might know the team in depth or people might just be intrigued or maybe you just want to see me fawn over Austin Matthews for 10 minutes, which is absolutely fine as well. If you've seen my Twitter, if you know me from Twitter at all, you will know that I am the biggest Austin Matthews fan ever. Um, <laughs> So thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this first little episode in this series. I'm going to just make a ton of these because I think they're quite fun and I haven't, I haven't seen anyway anyone else do them. Probably someone has but um, I haven't seen anyone do a full Leafs profile series so I'm going to do that. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe and also turn on the little notification bell because I'm trying to get more consistent with my posting time but striking a balance between the two different time zones is kind of tricky. So um, hit the notification bell so that you know when I've posted. I'm going to try and upload on Sundays. Sundays, going, I'm going to try, but um, my deadlines right now are crazy and life's just kind of crazy in general, so bear with me. 
and I'll just pop up my social medias here. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and especially on Twitter because that's where all my hockey chats happen um, and it'd be much appreciated. So yeah, thank you for joining me. I'm currently looking out onto like a mini snowstorm outside because there's weather warnings across the UK. So I'm really hoping that you haven't heard anything from outside, but yeah. So thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you next time for more hockey chats. <laughs> Bye guys. Thank you.